Hi there! If you have a bunch of cloth pins at home, then this addition is just for you. We'll need 9 to 10 of them, couple of ice cream sticks and a highlighter for our first idea. First of all, we'll need to number all of the cloth pins from 0 till 9. Now let us put down a plus and equal sign on the stick, then a minus and equal sign on the other stick. For more advanced users, you can make sticks with multiplication and division signs on them. As a result, we get such a great cloth pin counting helper. I think that parents should like the idea, because it's pretty unusual and it may make math more involving and interesting for children. For the next idea, we'll need a connector, a CR2032 battery, a pair of wires, a buzzer, a straw and a cloth pin. Let's cut off the upper parts of the straw along with the bendy part. Then slide a pair of wires through the straw and seal one end of the straw with a lighter. Make sure that the two tiny wires stick out from the straw a little. Now bend the wires. Let's then bend one of the connector's contacts and solder the positive one to the plus lead of the buzzer. Now we solder the two remaining wires to the minus of the buzzer and to the negative contact of the connector. Then we glue the straw to the cloth pin. Let's place the battery and test the device out in a glass filled with water. In case if the buzzer does not buzz, just bend the wires together. Thanks to our DIY buzzer, you'll be able to watch TV in the kitchen or slice ingredients for a salad while the milk is being heated on the stove. Once the milk has started boiling, the buzzer will buzz and you'll be able to turn off the stove in time. For the third project, we'll need an ice cream stick, a battery, cloth pin, a battery holder, line, two pins, buzzer and a few wires. First of all, we'll need to drill a hole through the cloth pin. Then we insert the pins as shown in the video and solder one wire to each pin. Now let us solder the positive contacts of the battery to the plus of the buzzer. Then solder the minus of the buzzer to any wire of the cloth pin. Also solder the negative leads of the battery to the remaining wire of the cloth pin. After attaching the buzzer and the battery to the pin, we can start making our security alarm. We need to drill a small hole through a piece of the ice cream stick and fasten the line to it. I think the main principle of our DIY security alarm should be pretty clear and doesn't require an explanation. So let us test it out. Let's set up our DIY security alarm and start catching some neighborhood gangsters. Ooh, look, the cabbage is pretty ripe. Let's get to it. Be careful. The tomatoes are ripe as well. Oh, yeah. 